Hello there, today I'm going to talk about ChatGPT integration with the Visual Studio Code. So I'll put the link in the description how to install the Visual Studio Code. So once you install it, you need to come to here, the extension, and click on that and search for ChatGPT. Find out this one and click on install button. So it's installed successfully. So once it's installed, you could see the icon is here. So chat GPT has been installed successfully. That's great. If you're new to the channel, if you like to see the same type of content, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the notification. Okay, let's get started. So I'll close this. And this one we're doing without API keys. What it's gonna do, once you click on this, it's gonna do authenticate. So click on this. So it'll ask you the login. You could see the login button here. Click on that. So it navigate to the browser. So now, it will ask for the login. For login, you should have an open AI account. If you don't have, don't worry. We have an existing video. I'll put a link in the description for a sign up and login. So enter the email ID here. So I'll put the email ID. Then click on this checkbox. Then it will ask some question for verification. So mountain or hills. So I'll do this. Verify, then click on continue button. Then enter the password. Then click on continue. So once it authorized, it will minimize the screen. Now you, you are logged in. So that's great. So what are the next step is basically here you need to ask. Suppose I'll ask a simple question like, all right, yeah, hello world program in Java. So enter. Cool. So now you see it's written a program which is class hello world and it's just printing hello world. Copy this. And I'm going to create a folder. I have created a folder as Java test. Then I create a Java file name as hello world dot Java. Enter. Then I just paste the code what I've just copied. Okay. Then I'll save the file. Then after that, I'm going to execute this one. So go to the terminal, click on new terminal, go to the path this program has been saved. So I'll do pwdo, the present working directory. So we'll do ls hyphen ltr. I could see the hello world.java file is here. So now you could see dot Java. So I need to compile first. To compile the Java file with the syntax. That's correct. It's Java C and hello world.java. So now you see it's compiled successfully. Now you see the class file has been created here. So now I need to run the program. So that's for the syntax. That's correct. So it's Java and the file name. So now it's going to print the hello world. You could see it's printed the hello world here. So output is correct. Now we're going to use the chat GPT here, this program, okay? Now if I do right click, you'll see all chat GPT options area. If I don't understand it, this program, if I click on this explain, Cool, now you could see I asked the program for ChatGPT to explain me. So it explained what is the class name, what is public static void, what is a void keyword, what is the main method, what is the system.out.println. It will create a program for you. You can run this program. Also, it's going to explain you so that that way you can learn the program. If I do right click, there are many options are there. I'm going to do, uh, discuss a couple of uh, points here. One is the add comments, right? Whenever you write a program, there's a Always good practice put the comments so that you can understand what you're doing. So I will do add a comments here. So now it's going to add a comments for this program. So let's see how does it work. Cool. Now you could see the comments has been added. This is the declare the main method, then print the string hello world in the console. So this is the system dot out dot print ln is nothing but it's going to print on the console. So if you want to change your program, so copy this, then just do and replace with this. Control V. So now if you execute one more time, just save this program. And if I'm going to run it one more time, it's going to print same thing. Hello world. But you have the comment section now. So like this, you can you, you can utilize any of this section. Like you want to optimize, explain, find a bug, add a test. You can use all these options here. Uh, let me know in the comment section uh, if any one of you has been integrated uh, chat GPT with any of this ID like Eclipse or IntelliJ. Thank you. That's it for today. Keep learning and keep watching Little Tech Pro. If this content is useful for you, don't forget to like and comment. It means a lot to me. See you next video. Thanks again. Namaste.